For most hunters, a sheep hunt in North America is so cost prohibitive that it is never seriously considered. But there are alternatives. Steve's Outdoor Adventures offers a free range Aldad sheep hunt in Texas that provides a challenging hunt that won't break the bank. This week, professional hunting consultant Steve West travels to the Davis Mountains in West Texas with Sky Layton from Burris Optics and Rich Coles from Sportsman's Warehouse in pursuit of free-range Aldad rams on another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Steve West, professional hunting consultant, and these are my adventures. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Scope Coke, Stormcloth 2, Mossy Oak, Direct TV, The Montana Decoy Company, Tillamook Country Smoker, Burris Optics, and by the new Burris Eliminator Laser Scope. Just range them and eliminate. Today we're headed to West Texas on what I like to refer to as the poor man's bighorn sheep hunt. This affordable hunt offers exciting free range sheep hunting at a fraction of the cost of a dollar stone sheep hunt. I will be accompanied by Sky Layton from Burris and Rich Coles from Sportsman's Warehouse. We're after Barbary sheep, better known as Aladad. These sheep have keen eyesight and sharp senses that are always on high alert, and they are very difficult to stalk in open terrain. The season for Aladad is very liberal, but we focus on hunting them between late November and early April. We booked our hunt for early February. The weather was perfect with bluebird sunny days and light winds. Now first up was Sky Layton. We had hunted together the previous year in the La Pampa region of Argentina for red stags and black buck antelope. Sky is an accomplished hunter and a great shot. He harvested some awesome trophies in Argentina and I was looking forward to hunting with him again here in the States. We're here in West Texas with Nate Hicks, hunting on his 140,000 acre property for Aldad sheep. We're moving out through these little mountainous areas. Some are pretty rugged. Nate knows where these sheep have been hanging out at. and Hopefully we can get our friends, uh, Rich Coles from Sportsman's Warehouse and Sky Layton from Burris Optics, their first Aldad sheep. Pretty optimistic. And Hopefully we'll get some good rams today. We're here in the Davis Mountains in West Texas, a couple hours east of El Paso. We drove in last night. We're glassing all of these breaks and canyons, rim rocks, rock formations. These out dead blend in really well. Um, we're all out glassing. Everybody's wrapped around this knob. We've got the trucks up here spotting scopes out. They're really hard to find, but when we find them, we should find a pretty good bunch of out dead. Out dead are a, a really unique sheep. They're not native to Texas, um, but they're, they've really taken a strong hold here. In fact, I, I had one biologist tell me that there's more Aldad today in Texas, free roaming, than there ever is from, from their native land. So it's been a successful transplant and, and introduction to this area. Hopefully we'll get to find some because there's supposed to be some very large ones on this ranch. The first morning out, our guides Dwayne and Nate spotted a group of Aldad on a rocky mountaintop across the canyon. We identified at least one mature ram and planned an elaborate stock. But if we come across above the rocks, we'll come across kind of above them. That ought to be 200 yards or less across all of that, right? Yeah, the maybe way, three. The, the thing is, if, if we stay on that side of the ridge, they're going to come back in here if we blow them. If we blow them, and then we're not if showing we them to the neighbor. This side, they're yeah, going gotcha. to run around that face and, and all right. go a half mile and be off the ranch. I mile. understand. I got gotcha. you. 
Well, that'll work, you know. There's, There's some big cliffs on that other side too, and if we do bump them and they go off those cliffs, it's gonna take them a little bit, and generally they'll run a couple of cliffs and then hang out. And if we lose them, we could always go down below and glass up and glass find up them again. The bottom. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. It's almost, you know, it looks like a tough spot, but it also almost kind of looks ideal. You know, it's it's got a it's it's got some yeah, drawbacks, yeah. but it has some upside to it too. Yeah, because they'll hang there. They're definitely comfortable enough, and they have enough escape routes. They could go any direction. That I mean, that's why they're there is because they're comfortable. Cool enough. Let's do that. So you say we're gonna get over here to the boulder patch and then go across, huh? All right. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, Sky Layton from Burris Optics gets his shot at a trophy owl dad in Texas. Closed captioning provided by Global Outdoor Gear. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator Rifle Scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. You've all been there. In the woods with a scope that's been bumped off zero, damaged, or a lens full of mud, rain, or snow. Next time you go in the field, protect your rifle scope with the inexpensive Scope Coat. Its durable neoprene design provides much needed protection for your valuable optics. Go to the website address on the screen to get more information on Scope Coat and their other great products and register to win one of over 500 free Steve's Outdoor Adventures DVDs to be given away this year. The 2010 Ultimate Television Gear Giveaway. Popular outerwear company Stormcloth will be doing monthly drawings for free gear and one lucky winner will be drawn for an all expenses paid guided elk hunt to be filmed for the Steve's Outdoor Adventures television series. To enter, go to the website address shown on the screen and fill out a simple online form. And remember to ask for Stormcloth at your favorite sporting goods retailer. This could be you right here with me next year hunting big bulls. Go online and enter to win today. Whenever I go on one of my extreme hunting adventures, I take along my favorite jerky snacks and I always choose Tillamook Country Smoker. While other jerky manufacturers are outsourcing their jobs to South America, Tillamook Country Smoker has been and always will be made in America. So next time you go to buy a bag of jerky, look on the back and see where it was processed. Then look for the Tillamook Smoker brand and buy American. First morning, we started out, loaded up in the trucks, and went up to the mountains. Hit a couple vantage points, did a lot of glassing. I tell you, it was it was not what I expected. We spent a lot of time just examining every nook, cranny, crevice. These things blended in so well. Shortly after we hit this big rock cropping, one of the guides ended up spotting an odd dad way out there. We ended up loading back up, making a game plan, came around we were going to come up on the backside. After a little bit of study in the terrain, we came up with a plan of attack and we started across the mountain. After a good half mile stock through some really loose footed, rolling rock, very difficult terrain, we ended up getting in on it and got in within about 400 yards, almost a takeable shot. The wind was blowing very unpredictable, cross canyon, was able to hit it with the laser scope, got several shots on it, got in from 400, we ended up getting a little bit closer to about 350, but with the wind and the angle of the shot that I had, chose not to take it, thought we could get a better vantage point. The Audad busted us. They broke out and went across this canyon. After a little time studying the lay of the land, we felt that we could drop down low, get in there and come up behind a little rock outcropping. We were estimating somewhere between two and 300 yards. After we got through there, crawled across the rocks, and by the time that I could see the animal, we were with, well within 200 yards. I hit him with the laser scope. He was right at, two, at 176, but he was with a lot of views, a lot of other odd dad, and I had to wait for him to get up.
thought I knew what to expect when I got down here, but once I harvested this Audad, got a chance to get up close to it. It was spectacular. The lay of the land, the beauty that we saw, the number of animals that we saw, taking an excellent trophy such as that, the shafts, the horns, it, it couldn't have been better. I was very fortunate to have got the opportunity. I've been with Burris now for three years. This is my second opportunity to hunt with Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Never have been disappointed. It's a great opportunity. If you get the chance, you should take it. This was absolutely an awesome hunt. We got out here this morning, started hunting around looking. We ended up spotting them from a distance. We made a stock on them, got a real good look at them, but uh, he busted out on us. We ended up having to put another stock on them. Got out here, hit him with the laser scope, got him at 176, anchored him. Great hunt, beautiful odd bed. Now it was Rich Cole's turn. Rich and I had also hunted together the previous year down in Argentina. He took an awesome 7x7 seven seven stag and a fallow deer down in Patagonia on one of my most memorable hunts. Rich is an excellent hunter and an Aladad was high on his list of animals that he wanted to hunt. Big time. You got to full field twos out, the ballistic flux in it, huh? It does, huh? Man, you ought to have money out there. I'm um, Team Jillian Yards with that thing. Felt good. That's the shot right there without changing anything. That felt good. Yeah. You're, you're where you need to be. All right. Oh, excuses. Originally. What? Hi, I'm Rich Coles with Sportsman's Warehouse. We're down here in West Texas hunting with Steve's Outdoor Adventures. We are hunting Odd Dad. I can't think of a more beautiful setting to hunt Odd Dad in in this, this awesome place. Well, we arrived in West Texas the first morning we got up in the morning. Started cruising around, what did we see? Javelina. Oh, it was great. I've never shot a Javelina before, so we had the opportunity to get out of the truck, put a stock on the Javelina, we walked around for a little bit, just kind of followed through the brush. We were able to get into a spot, take a shot, got my first Javelina. You got that one, don't worry about it. Hit this one right Hit in the nose. How many can I shoot that? That one's dying. You can shoot all you want. Hit this one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Two down! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's a nice little bonus to a little out out action. <laughs> pretty good sized pig. That'd be pretty fair good eating. Yeah. Gosh, they're cool looking. There's uh, no shortage of them here. You know, you keep saying that. If we don't shoot them, they're gonna hit them with the truck, so. Yeah, gosh, there must have been like, what? At least 10, 15? Yards? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how far he was. <laughs> it was pretty close. Yeah, I hit him straight yeah, on right there. Straight on, right through the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Folded it like a dog. Nice, look at this. Take Woo. a look at that. Nasty teeth. That's pretty cool. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, Rich Coles begins his stalk on a big owl dad ram in Texas.